here are the answers from yesterday's workbook. Please check your work and send Miss Downing or Miss Lopez a message if you need a bit of help or if there is something that you do not understand. Pause the video and check your work. Good morning Year 3 and welcome back. Thank you so much for sharing yesterday's work with us. Today we're going to start by going over what we learned yesterday. Yesterday we looked at equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are fractions that look different but they have the same value, so they are the same size. We use fraction bars to represent the different fractions and check that they did have the same value and the amount of the space that we were counting was exactly the same in all our fractions. We're going to go over what we learned yesterday once more. I have here two fractions. Two fifths is equivalent to something tenths. So let's start by drawing what we know. Our first bar we know that has been divided into five equal parts. How many parts do I need to count? Two. So I'm just going to shade two parts out of five. Now our second bar has been divided into how many equal parts? Ten. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What is our numerator going to be if we want these two fractions to be equal? Remember, they're going to have the same value. So they're going to take up exactly the same amount of space. So if I do this, let's go for two, the same numerator. Do they have the same value? No, we can see that this one is smaller than two fifths. Let's keep going. Do I need to keep going? No, you're right. Now, both of my fractions have the same value because they take up exactly the same amount of space. So my numerator is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 out of 10. And we can say that 2 fifths is equivalent to 4 tenths. Now, I'm going to show you another way of finding equivalent fractions. So if you give me a second, I'm just going to write the same fractions that we've just done here. And I'm going to ask you, do you notice any patterns in these numbers? Is there anything that you can see? I'm going to ask you to use your times tables knowledge. Is there anything that you notice? Well done! Here you can see that two times two equals four and five times two equals ten. So we can multiply the numerator, so we can multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number in order to make, in order to find equivalent fractions. Let's give this fraction a go. Now, we don't have a bar that is showing as a fraction. We've got two denominators and one numerator. Where do you think we should start first? That's it. Obviously, we need to start by looking at the denominator because we've got two of them. What is it? Four times something is 12. Four times something is 12. I need to multiply four times something in order to get 12. What will it be? Four times three. So I know that four times three is 12. And we said that we need to multiply the denominator and the numerator by the same number. So here I will have to do three times what? Three times three. Three times three is nine. So I go here, the three fourths is equivalent to nine twelfths. 
So remember, if you want to find equivalent fractions, you don't need to draw a fraction bus if you don't want to. You can use your multiplication knowledge to find out. You could also divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number in order to get smaller equivalent fractions. Now, I would like you to pause the video and complete page 99. You need to find the equivalent fractions by looking at the fraction bars or using your times tables knowledge. Please come back once you've completed your workbook so we can continue with the lesson. Great work using your times tables knowledge to find more equivalent fractions. Now I'm going to show you how to make a fractions wall. And we're going to be using this as well as a tool to find more equivalent fractions. I'm going to use some strips of paper and I'm going to start with this one. So I'm going to put this one at the top of my fraction wall and I'm going to call it one hole. So this is my hole. Now I'm going to get another strip of paper and I'm going to divide this into two equal parts. So I'm going to fold it, I'm going to divide it into two equal parts, place it underneath, do a line to divide it and write. How many equal parts do I have now? One and two. So our denominator is going to be 2 and each part represents 1 half. We can already see that uh, 2 halves are equivalent to 1 whole. Let's keep going. This is my third strip of paper and now I'm going to fold it into 3 equal parts. Then I'm going to stick it and I'm going to use my pen to go over the lines. Into how many equal parts have I divided my whole? Excellent! Now I got three equal parts, so my denominator is going to be three. And each of these parts represents one third. Each part, there's one part here out of three, two parts out of three, and three parts out of three. Again, now, so we've divided our whole into two equal parts, three equal parts. Now we're going to divide our whole into four equal parts. So that's two and two, make four equal parts. I'm going to stick it. I'm going to draw my lines. and I'm going to write my fraction. Into how many equal parts have we divided our whole? Four. So our denominator is going to be four. And each part represents one fourth, because this is one part out of four, three, two parts out of four, three out of four, and four out of four. We can already see as well that two halves are equivalent to two fourths. So one half, sorry, is equivalent to two fourths. Now give me one second and I'll show you the final result. ta -da! So this is the final result. I kept going and I divided my holes into five equal parts, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So this is my fractions wall. And we can use this to find equivalent fractions. So for example, we can clearly see, we can use our finger to start with, that one half is equivalent to two fourths. They are the same value and they are exactly the same size. We could go in down, we can also see that one half is equivalent to two fourths and to one, two, three sixths. And we can keep going all the way down to check. You could also use a piece of paper just to see clearly the ones that are equivalent. 
to others. Now, your task is to make a fraction wall and try to write as many equivalent fractions as you can. If you find tricky folding the paper into one, two, three, four, five, piece, five bits, you could, also, you could only go for uh, even numbers and do one whole, two parts, four parts, six parts, eight parts, but it would be really, really good if you give a go uh, to dividing the whole into three, five, six parts. You do not need to go up to 12 if you don't want to, just see how much, how big you can do your fraction wall. Maybe you do more than I did, I don't know. So, uh, have fun doing this, and if you have any doubts, please message me, Beth, me, or Miss Downing, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye!